today on this 2012 Subaru Outback Wagon, we're going to install part number 36493 from Draw Tight. Now we'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From top of the receiver opening down to the ground will be 14 inches, and from the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of a bumper will be 4.5 inches. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. Our first step is go ahead and remove the muffler. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can spray down the rubber hangers and remove it and leave it attached. However, we're going to remove the muffler itself. There's two bolts on the tailpipe that we can easily get to and to make things a little easier to see, we'll go ahead and remove the muffler. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the heat shield for the muffler. Next, we'll have to drill a 1 8 inch access hole at the bottom of the frame to get our hardware into place. When we drill our access hole, it'll be approximately 2 inches from the forward heat shield attachment. That's one of the bolts that bolted to the bottom of the frame. We'll drill out a pilot hole first, then use our 1 8 inch hole saw to make the cut. We'll also remove the rubber plugs at the bottom of the frame. Now I can go ahead and install the hardware into the frame. We'll use our bolt leader to install the 1x2 block to the access hole and thread on the bolt and pull them into position down to the hole as closest to the bumper. And then we'll install a 1x3 block to the access hole through the forward hole in the bumper. Now we'll leave our bolt leaders attached to the bolts to help hold the bolts in place while we install our hitch later on. And with all our hardware installed, we'll go ahead and spray some undercoating material around the hole that we just drilled out. At this point, we can go ahead and lift the hitch up into position. We'll go around the exhaust hanger, make sure that the rubber hangers are out of the way as well. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help do this. We'll put the hitch up, we'll run the bolt leaders through the bolt holes, and then push the hitch up into place, then we'll install our hardware. We need to install a conical tooth washer, we'll make sure the teeth on the washer are facing towards the hitch, and then the nut. Before we tighten down the hitch for good, we'll make sure that the holes for the exhaust heat shield will line up with the holes in the hitch. With our hitch loosely installed, we can go ahead and tighten down the bolts, and then we'll torque them down as specified in the instructions. Next, we'll go ahead and trim the heat shield for the exhaust. We'll use some tin snips to make the cut. And then we can go ahead and reinstall the heat shield. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the muffler. And with that, that'll finish it for our install, part number 36493 from Draw Tight on our 2012 Subaru Outback Wagon. 